start off with Jeff Bezos, why he's loved so much. Is mm. that okay with you? Yeah. Let's go to page three. Jeff Bezos, we were watching it live last time. He went into space, came back down. When he landed, he did a couple different things. One, uh, he gave, uh, Jeff Bezos says, Blue Origin has sold nearly $100 million worth of tickets for future tourist trips to space. Business Insider, Blue Origin officially opened ticket sales in the morning before Bezos' flight. And in his post-flight press conference, Bezos said the company was approaching $100 million in private sales already, if not clear, it's not clear if the company sold any private tickets before it officially opened sales on Tuesdays. Be- Tuesday, Bezos and uh, Blue Origin didn't disclose seats uh, prices uh, for the journey, which travels 62 miles above the Earth's surface. A seat next to Bezos uh, on New Shepard went for $28 million in the company's auction, mm-hmm. and the winner pulled out due to shifting uh, scheduling com- scheduling conflicts. And Oliver Damon, the 18-year-old, took the place instead of him. So the tickets for Virgin Galactic... Uh, on the edge of space is $250,000 and includes a spacesuit. So now, a couple things before we go through this. Obviously, we saw the New York Times story with yeah. Bezos. Bezos thinks Amazon workers and customers for his vast wealth, prompting backlash from AOC and many others. He came up there and says, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to travel out here. I also want to thank every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you, you guys paid for all of this. His comments prompted swift critical reactions, including from a member of the House representative who serves on tax writing ways and means and committee. Space travel isn't a tax-free holiday for the wealthy, says the representative Earl Blumnammer from Oregon. We pay taxes on plane tickets. Billionaires flying into space producing no scientific value should do the same and then some. So I think the opening question for all of you would be the following. Why does Bezos get as much hate as he gets? He lands. He gives $100 million to Van Jones. Mm-hmm. Okay, He gives $100 million to the chef Jose Andres. He does all this stuff. He still gets a lot of hate. Why do you think that is? Because you have because what ends up happening is that people are, people are haters by nature. right? They don't like people doing better than them, first of all. And if they can't get a piece of the pie, then they even, they even get more mad. right? So, uh, But I will tell you, I'm going to give you my, my point of view real quick on this, Pat. Um, I was having this conversation with a, a buddy of mine in Bakersfield not too long ago. And uh, he, he was talking about Bezos, not in a bad way, but he was you know, saying that he was excessively rich. And I said, you know how much time Bezos gave back to your life? And he says, what do you mean? Explain it to me. He says, very simple. You place an order right now, you get it tomorrow or the next day. You're saving a trip to the store. You could possibly get an accident. You get to spend more time at home with your kids. You can actually help them with their homework. You don't have to do, these, these, you don't have to do all these uh, uh, daily activities as much because you can literally buy everything on Amazon. He facilitated your life at a cheap price. If the man gets rich doing it, that's America. It's 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 home of the free, land of the brave, and uh, opportunity for all. Not opportunity until you think it was too much taken advantage of. Yeah. Right. So the reality is, I don't care how rich the guy gets because at the end of the day, because of him, I'm able to order stuff that comes to my door. It avoids me a trip. It avoids me time. It saves me time. It saves me money, and I can do things that are more important to me than going to Walmart to pick up some freaking. Toilet paper, or whatever it is that I need, milk, or whatever the case that I need. Why do you, why, anybody have a different, very great argument right there? Any other reason why you think he gets as much hate, hate as he gets? That's actually, I mean, it's a legitimate question because you start to see like all this hate that's come towards Bezos. And obviously, and, you and see by the that, way, just so you know, yeah. it's, it's left and the right. It's not yeah, like right. the hate is only from one side, he's getting it from both sides. Why right. is that? I think that's a, a good a good question. Obviously, we all grew up watching Superman, and he's been compared to Lex Luthor, the yeah. bald guy. Yeah. You know, what's he up to? He's evil. Mm-hmm. Don't return from space. We don't want you back here. It's like, let me just tell you something. I haven't had a car in ten years. I if I don't have to leave my apartment, I won't. I order Amazon for everything. Like the other day, I wanted something for my cats. Yeah, I said my cats. I just ordered it. Boom, it came the next day. You're absolutely right. I think. No matter, th- you said people are haters by nature. I'm wondering why that is. Like, I think a lot of it has to do with ego, right? Like, the ego is not well, the bro, amigo. Why to, do you think? But it goes yeah. to the beginning of time, though. <clears throat> why did why did Cain kill Abel? Mm-hmm. He was jealous of him. Mm-hmm. It's in our DNA as humans, regardless of race. I mean, the first brothers in the world, one killed the other. I, I think it's a little bit different, because I really don't like Jeff Bezos. And the, and the reason okay, I Okay, so yeah, let's yeah. hear oh, that. That's good. So, the reason why is... The system that we keep talking about is broken. Like, you know, the, the corporatist, which isn't capitalist, it's corporatist, right? Mm-hmm. The system that we have. He exploits every single loophole possible. He does it publicly. He does it in, in, in front sense, of everybody's expl- face. Explain that. Okay, so 
the the fact that this guy is able to accumulate the wealth that he has, right? Which which nobody in the beginning is going to say, "Wow, don't accumulate wealth." Nobody at this table. And as as a staunch free market guy myself, if you don't like Amazon, feel free to buy anything else. There's mm -hmm. there's a million eBay. other things that you can. Absolutely. But what he does, and and he has a team, and it, it's smart to work within the system, but he exploits the system through and through. He goes into new locations. He makes sure that he, he gets the best tax uh, uh, si situation possible in the system. He has different uh, locations. So we're mad of, at him because he, he's good at negotiation? No, no, no. I'm, see, the thing is, I'm not mad at him. No, no, I'm just saying, so do we I think what happens, him? this is what I'm trying to say, I think what happens is that he publicly represents everything wrong with our government and our system. But in what he, sense? Because he, he exposes it, is what I'm saying. I know, but right now... So you, he expo but, but he's playing by the... Is he doing anything illegal? Perfect, no, perfect Is he doing example. anything illegal? He even says, the people that, that have a problem with me are mostly right. That was actually him. What I'm specifically talking about, okay? He got $10 billion during an economic recession after a pandemic to go play, you know, just a tip with the outer atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got in a big, veiny space rocket and went there's, to outer there's space. There's Gerard. Can't get that dick out of his mind. <laughs> you know can't saying? get that Johnson out of his mind. Well, it's better all than he thinks can't about. get it out of my mouth, Adam. But the, the thing is... <laughs> He's had it before. <laughs> the thing is, he gets $10 billion, right? And the first thing that, that the government says when he goes to outer space, the first thing that they say is, where's our cut? We tax you when you we tax normal people when whoa time out you shouldn't be taxing us either you don't need you don't get to give thirteen billion dollars to American Airlines for them to never take off on time you know so so the fact that the government the first thing that they did when they got back was where's our cut right it wasn't that we gave you ten billion dollars that should have been reallocated to people who really really need it after being held political hostage for eighteen months you see what I'm saying yeah. now I'm not mad at Bezos for taking the money. I'm not mad at anybody. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. I'm not mad at anybody that takes government money right now. Right. Because if the government's going to hand it out to their boys, you get yours. Mm -hmm. If you play by their rules that they refuse to play yeah. by, so, you're not noble, you're a sucker. Let, let so me tee this not, up for PBD. Go for it. Because it's something that comes to mind. It's like, why are all these ultra-tech billionaires, yeah. the Jack Dorseys of the world, the Bezos of the world, the Zuckerberg, why do they always lean left? Why are they Democrats? Is it fair to say that they... Mostly, kind of vote, step in, uh, yeah, because, in well, because, 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 because of regulation. No, but progressive policies help them. Okay. Higher exactly. minimum wage exactly. helps exactly. them. Correct. Open exactly. borders help exactly. them. Exactly. It doesn't. It has. It they, drops the, yeah. the wages. So people, it exactly. Yes. We talk about taxes, right? Less and benefits. Pat says and they're not worried about taxes, bro. They're worried about regulation. Let me play ball. Is that right? Uh, they're, they're in. A, by the way, Anas just said he gave twenty bucks. He said it's because the workers who treats workers like crap. Amazon workers deserves. 30 hours uh, plus, he's greedy, unionist, the, the TG answer, the answer, it's the workers who did it, that's him. The other one is, it's not ego, this is from Little Panda Club, uh, he says it's not ego, people project uh, outwards because they are afraid to assess inwards, exploitation is not illegal, it might be unethical and immoral. Okay, that's the, so, just real quick on that, Bezos has spoken about that, and he says, look, I, he basically optimized the work hour, the work week within the current employment laws. So he, again, is exploiting the rule of law. People are saying it's unethical to have the people work that way. And his thing is, OK, when the laws change, I'll change it. But is the he laws wrong? don't change. But no, is we, he wrong? But it's, it's, so it's the perfect thing. It's like you said, it's, it's the difference between being legal and unethical. So, OK, but here's a question to you. OK, perfect. And by the way, I'm not disagreeing with you. But my question to you is, that whose fault is it? The government's or his? Okay. Well, you, it's a blurry line. Who pays for the government? Well, it's not a. But he didn't pay for the government before he got into before he be created Amazon. So all those laws and rules and regulations were set before he became who he is today. If he was truly the progressive that he says he is, if he was truly this for the people person, right? If then, people, then, I don't know if he would go claims out to of be his some way, sort of progressive though. But but so he's exploiting people's empathy. He's you know who also does this? You know, you know, this is this is eerily similar to someone who used those exact same rhetoric. Montgomery Burns. No, Donald Trump would say, "I just." The, the, the system is I donate to Republicans, Democrats. I play within the rules. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, only I can fix it. It but sounds a like lot like you Trump. You like Bezos, and you don't like Trump. I didn't say I like Bezos. I like Amazon. I, I like give, Amazon. I don't care. I like I Amazon. Care I don't care. Be, I, it's not like I a, I'm a Bezos fan. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.